Now, this section of clips is all to do with something called literal equations. Now, a literal equation is when we have an equation like this with different variables in. This one at the moment we say is solved for a because it begins with a equals something. Now, sometimes what we're trying to find is not a, but it could be a different letter, say b. So what we try and do is we try and rearrange this equation to make it in the form of a different letter. And that's what we're trying to do with literal equations. So, for example, if I was trying to solve this for b, in other words, make it say b equals. Now, I'm going to write it like this because it just takes too long to say solve for b or make the equation say b equals. So this is going to be my shorthand method of writing these questions. So what we have to do is look what is actually happening with the equations and then start moving things to the side by doing the opposites. So at the moment, I've got my b, but I'm adding c. So I know I need to move the plus c to the other side. So using opposites, what we're going to do is instead of adding c, I'm going to subtract c from both sides. Now, this has the effect of cancelling out here. That's why I do it, because c take away c is 0. And on this side, and this is what makes these questions slightly different, is a take away c. I can't actually work that out, because these aren't like terms. All I can say is that it is a minus c. And now, notice my equation does begin with b. Now, some people prefer this the other way around, so we can switch these over using our symmetric property. And now we indeed have a rule that starts with b.